so um, I decided to um, change my like Fitspo book and my like weight loss journal into the yellow smash book um, just because I wasn't using this for anything anymore so I thought um, I would just I would use it for this since this is gonna be like a big part of my life for the you know the next year or so like really importantly um, let's see if I can get this in camera so this was my pen pal book and that's why it still has like these stamps um, I was collecting them off my mail and I'm still gonna collect them it's just that I'm also doing wreck this journal and one of the prompts is to collect all the stamps off your mail so um, I'm doing that and then once that's filled I'll come back and um, finish this page but um, this first one I just covered it with cardstock because it had a lot of um, type on it like this it said um, hello though instead of goodbye so I just covered it with little pieces of um, cardstock and then I used some like dollar stamps to do the backgrounds of that one and this one um, and then I just wrote some like motivational things um, I also used some like recollections washi tape in the corners and then October afternoon mini market stickers and then these yellow ones are like industrial like labels <laughs> so they're not like scrapbooking stickers they're like industrial or something <laughs> but um says I pledge to never see my highest weight on a scale ever again it will hurt and it will take time but when you reach your goal it's totally worth it today I do what others won't so tomorrow I can do what others can't a huge part of losing weight is believing you can do it and realizing it's not gonna happen overnight so those were um, some of my favorite things and I usually find like these inspirational um, phrases on Pinterest or on Tumblr. So up here I have like a healthy weight chart. So like according to your height it'll tell you what your what a healthy weight is. So since I'm 5'6, like a healthy weight is what's in red right here. Um, and the arrow is where I want to be at 125. Like, ultimate goal weight is 125, but I'd be happy at, like, 135. <laughs> because I'm 5'6", so that's, um, that'll still look good. And then some washi tape. And then these are the, like, sticko, um, I love that alphabet. I, I think it's called Carnival something. And then die cuts with a view, um, doodling around epoxy sticker. And then down here, this is one of the Dollar Tree Pockets. And I stamped a background, but I stamped it in blue ink, so it's it's kind of hard to see. And then this is just the magazine cutout, and it like the blue matched almost perfectly, so I put it on there. And then this card is just a filler, but I'm gonna do like the library card, and then like date stamp it every day I smash. Um, and I'm just waiting for my library cards because I ordered them from the Plaid Barn, but like shipping from them takes a really long time. And then this one down here, it says, the harder you work, the faster you'll get there. And then washi tape and this little butterfly. And then this one, I really like. Oh, my light went out. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, it says 10 steps to a positive body image. And this um, I found off Pinterest, I think. Nope, Tumblr. And... Um, just it's from the National Eating Disorder Association but I just did little like embellishment corners like one up here at the top and then one down here some washi tape um, and I just I like this page it's kind of easy and simple and then the next one it's really very easy and simple it just says one pound at a time these are blank so far. 
I have this one labeled for P90X because I want to do a layout for when I like complete P90X. And I should be starting today, but I was really sick all weekend, so um, like jumping into P90X just like normally is a huge challenge, but jumping into it after like four days of delirious um, just like sickness is just unhealthy and stupid so um I think I'm gonna start next week um and just this week kind of work up to it so I don't um overwork myself in the first week um and then this layout um these articles were from Seventeen Magazine and it was like they have this like body piece vow or treaty and um I think it's really cute. I'm not a fan of Seventeen Magazine, but I thought that, um, you know, I like this, like, spread or this idea. Um, so just some washi tape and rhinestones and then some chipboard stickers and letter stickers. And then a doily. And then this, it says, I vow to quit judging a person solely on their appearance, even if it seems harmless, because I'd never want anyone to do that to me. And that's just um, part of the treaty or the vow um, on 17.com, like part of the body piece treaty. And then it has these articles about girls um, just saying, like, don't judge me on my body. And then just a little embellishment thing in this corner. This book is already bothering me. Like, the binding was bothering me before I even started. Um, so, it's really going to piss me off when I start doing it. Um, this one is my water log because I think water is the most important thing in the entire universe. Um, so, I have a little smash tab and it says water. A little smiley face. And um, what I've done is I've just drawn out columns and then, let's see. I put the date and then I put how many ounces of water I drink per day and um, this is when I was sick so this is like actually on the low side for me just because I um, like I was just sleeping all day and I didn't really do anything so um, like mainly all these ounces were of tea um, and I only add tea like if I don't sweeten it or anything um, but how I, like, judge is I'll write a post-it note to myself, um, and I'll, like, write how many ounces. So, like, I have a 32-ounce bottle of water, um, and then an 8-ounce glass of tea, and then another bottle of water. And then, um, I add it all up at the end of the day and write it down, and then the next day I just do the same exact thing. And then cross it off, next day, same exact thing. So I have these columns, so I can do it for a long time and then this one it says um weigh in and um have weekly weigh in and i did the same thing i broke it up into three columns and i wrote the date i did not want to do it i did not want to put my weight down before i filmed this video um so um, after this video, I'll record my weight, but all these blue ones are um, the 13 weeks of P90X because I thought I would be starting it um, this week. I, I may be starting it next week, but um, either way, I'm still going to record my weight every week. And then this one is going to be for before and after pictures. I just need to print them. These are just ones um, from magazines, and I know these aren't like the most truthful because these are the ones from Diet Pills, so they're obviously going to make their models look better. But um, I still think it's kind of motivational to see a before and after. And then this one, um, I just have this little clear plastic tab because I needed to get to this page, but since it's only a half page, I it wouldn't like couldn't put it on this side. So I just have this clear plastic tab that I got from the thrift store. And it says, um, reasons to lose weight. And, um, it says wear bikinis, smaller boobs, 
um, a wedding dress, skinny jeans, high school reunion, tan without fear, skydiving, um, like taking pictures again, beach vacation, healthy, look good in anything, and not being the fat friend. So I have just that list of like my reasons to lose weight. I really like this page. <laughs> one of my favorite um, like inspirational like messages um, I kind of started writing it too low so there was this big white space here so I just put this sticker and it says life is good and it says I may not be there yet but I'm closer than I was yesterday that's one of my favorites and then there's just washi tape on the bottom and then I just found this in a magazine it says um, America's fittest cities and Sacramento was on there so I am included that. And then here, um, I cut out these mason jars, like I got the printable, I just googled mason jars and um, I got these images, this was my favorite, and I just printed it on cardstock and cut it out. And then um, I punched out a bunch of little hearts from um, the Little Recollections Heart Punch and then the Fashionably Chic line from Recollections also. And the left one says pounds to go and then pounds lost. So as you can see, I have a lot of pounds to go. And I just did a little embellishment like in the corner, a little washi tape and then washi tape and a sticker again. So um, just as like I lose a pound, you can go like this. And then as I lose like a million pounds, it just keeps going like this until all the hearts are over here and there's no hearts over there. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if this heart is right since I haven't um, like recorded my weight yet, but I think it's around that, which is kind of depressing to look at it. Um, this page, um, I don't really feel like it goes with this book. It, it's cute, but I just don't feel like it matches with the rest of the pages. And then I love this page, it's so pretty. But, beside the point. Oh, here's one. Um, this little layout. Let's see if I can tone down the light. Um, what I did is I cut this page in half because I thought I was going to do two pockets, like one up here for soda and then one down here for junk food, but I decided just to do the same, um, the same pocket, just different colored cards. And, um, this pocket is from the Dollar Tree, and then I just stamped on it. And then I got this doily from Kathy, and, um washi tape and a little like border kind of thing and then I layered a bunch of like paper bags underneath this little quote and it says it's okay to give into cravings losing weight and keeping it off means balance not going without treats for the rest of your life so um this one is going to be um no junk food or soda so I'm gonna have one color journaling or library card for soda and then one color for junk food and then whenever I have like I don't know like a hamburger or something or something unhealthy from a fast food restaurant then I'll like date stamp it because I know like I know I'm definitely not perfect and I'm not gonna go the rest of my life without soda especially not root beer because I love root beer but I think, like, I'm going to try really hard. And um, I think if I have, like, a place that shows all my slip-ups, because I hate making mistakes and I hate reliving my mistakes. So, like, having to see all the times that I messed up um, should motivate me. <laughs> um, and then I just put a little Red Bull bottle cap there because, um, like, energy drinks are another weakness. <laughs> Um, this page, I've dedicated it to doing the splits because that's one of my fitness goals. 
Um, I don't know if you can see here, but you can see like the white. And I took an eraser to the page and I found it did that a lot on these Smashbook pages. Um, if you erase over them, it, it like erases the page. And then this one is for my fitness goals and I have a little tab here with the mini market stickers on it. And then some washi tape and some stickers and then some rub-ons. And then I have a list of some stuff I want to accomplish with being fit. So like have a great ass, um, run a mile, run five miles. Like even when I was a freshman in high school and like in shape and stuff, I still couldn't run. Like I've never been able to run. It's just running is really hard for me. So those are going to be some like impressive goals. <laughs> um, do a handstand plank for two minutes, complete P90X, look great in a bikini, crop top, no fast food, no soda or energy drinks. Um, yeah. So those are the goals. And then from here, I have labeled out um, like milestones. So when I hit 190, when I hit 180, like 170, 160, 150, 140, and then 130, I'd be happy with 130, but definitely um, I would want to try and get down to 125. And then this one I laid out for process, so like having them all on one page. So start, and then 190, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 125. And then before and after, the page for before and after, and I have a little tab for that one. And landscapers are starting to work, so I'm gonna wrap up really quick. Um, and these pages, what I wanna do is write myself like a letter. So like a letter once I reach my goal weight and then open it, and I think it would just be really special. So um, that's my Fitspo or Thinspo book or my weight loss smash book. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you need any motivation for working out, let me know and we can be like workout buddies. So bye guys.